According to Faraday's first law, the mass of the substance which is indicated as M liberated at the electrodes during the electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of the electricity indicated as Q that passes through the electrolyte. Now let's know about Faraday's second law. According to Faraday's second law, when the same quantity of electricity passes through solutions of different electrolytes, the amounts of the substances liberated at the electrode are directly proportional to their chemical equivalence. So this is all about Faraday's second law. Now let us discuss on the topic called electrochemical equivalent defined in the first law. Considering if M is the mass of the substance in grams deposited on electrode by passing Q by passing Q coulombs of electricity, then M is proportional to Q. We already knew that Q is equal to I into T. Or else we can deploy this as M equal to Z into I into T. Where this Z indicates the constant known as the electrochemical equivalent of the substance. If ampere that is if one ampere that is of current we have I equal to one ampere and T that is time equal to one second then it will be by substituting the value of 1 over here for the cases i and t multiplying 1 will be getting m equal to z. Thus the electrochemical equivalent is the amount of substance deposited by 1 ampere current passing for 1 second that is of 1 coulomb.